It's time to talk sports. Real Madrid scored two late goals to snatch a dramatic Champions League point against Borussia Mönchengladbach. 13-time European champions Real were 2-0 uh, down in the 87th minute before goals from Karim Benzema and Casemiro saw them earn a thrilling draw. Munching Gladbach's uh, Marcus Thuram scored with a fine finish from Alassane Player's P uh, pass rather, and added a second when Thibaut Couture could only parry Player's short. Uh, Benzema's overhead kick gave Real a hope before Casemiro's 93rd minute leveller. And joining us live is Adair Michael, a sports journalist. Thank you so much for stepping in and joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, let's talk Real Madrid, 13-time uh, champions, big team um, across the whole world. They struggled instead to get a two-all draw against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, do you see them finishing well in the group stage, or is it likely that they might crash out of the Champions League? Wow, I think uh, Madrid have not really been in this place before. <laughs> this is um, a big club when it comes to the Champions League we are talking about. Unfortunately, it is not the start they would want. It is not the start their fans would want. But it is what it is. They're looking like a team down and out, it's looking like a team that, are lack that is lacking um, uh, motivation. I can also sense fatigue. Some of their players are tired. We recall that uh, the players didn't really have enough time to rest before this new season came upon them. But I think uh, Real Madrid uh, is a big team, like I said. But I think there are some problems they need to sort out. Looking at the way they've acquired some of their players recently, no disrespect to the players they have now. Some of them are not Madrid standard. Talking about players like uh, Militao or Drozola, uh, Junior Vinicius, you know, Rodrigo Goes. Felon Mendy, Federico Valverde, for crying out loud, Madrid have a standard and they go for top, top players. Yes, they have their plans of bringing in Kylian Mbappe and some other players, but unfortunately, the coronavirus and the financial climate hampered that particular plan. But it is what it is. They need to find a way to get this result. They need to, looking at that group right now, they have only just one point from two games. Yes, uh, there's next for them is, is going to be that double header against Inter Milan. So it's a must win. They must get all six points back-to-back -back victories if they stand a chance because it would be a huge blow if Real Madrid, 13-time champions, is on record. If they crash out of the Champions League or even get down to the Europa League, it's going to be a really big blow for, uh, to them as a club and, of course, to the White Angels fans. They, they had a pretty interesting display against Barcelona in the El Clasico. Um, what do you think they must do in order to bring back some of that fire and um, consistency uh, moving forward? Well, I think yeah, they do need consistency right now. Uh, some of the players that they have that should have taken up, because if you look at that squad, the bulk of the squad, the spine of the team are getting old. Talking about Sergio Ramos, he's 36 years old. Talking about Marcelo, he's in, in his early 30s. Benzema, these guys are 30 plus. So, and the players that are supposed to step in, the players that are supposed to step up to the place, talking about uh, Marco Asensio, talking about Isco, these guys have not, their progression has not been quite efficient. So, I think they need to find some bit of consistency. It's up to Zinedine Zidane. He has a way of bouncing back when uh, the pressure is upon him. So, I think they need to get some of these results. Okay, that classical. It was, uh, it was a good game, but I think they came up against a Barcelona side that are also struggling. Probably if it were Barcelona of those days, with that kind of performance, you would think that maybe Barcelona would have, you know, gone home with, you know, something. You know. But I think for Real Madrid, I, I really want them to do well. I really think that they can do better because apart from the fact that they lost uh, some of their big players, talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, they've been hanging in there. We saw how they won the La Liga title match it under the nose of Barcelona. So I think I still back them to get you know themselves back and, and get going. It seems like a lot of work for Zenedine Zidane um, and um, you know there's so much you know that needs to be done to keep you know the, the, the team going. Mm -hmm.